Bobby Sucks trailer. Come in. Okay, TJ. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Always have trouble with the door. Okay. <clears throat> Here is the master bedroom. Here is a sign. Don't focus on the sign. Here is the table. Here is the kitchen. Have you ever seen a microwave before? Here is the fridge. You have a creepy smile on, do you do? <laughs> and here's the freezer. Okay, TJ. <laughs> here is my bed up here. <laughs> here is Max's bed down here. <laughs> there are four rules we have in the trailer. Um, number one, there's no number two. Number two, there's no number three. You might be asking what number three is, but don't even get me started. And number three, there's no number four. And number four, there is absolutely no number five. Thank you for your time. I'm listening to the rules of the trailer. Lupercalia. When I say that word, what do you think of? Well, the correct answer is you should think of the Roman Valentine's Day. In in Rome, on Valentine's Day, they would choose me. Their future, they would choose their future marriages out of a hat. Could you possibly imagine choosing your marriage partner out of a hat? As you might guess, <laughs> as you might guess, some of these marriages didn't work out very well. But some worked out very well. But some people believe that if they, once they chose a partner, they had to stay with them for life. The Roman god Cupid was existed for a long time. And they say that he was the son of Venus. And Venus was the god of beauty and love. To the ancient Romans, of course. This is getting boring. I say we go to commercial break. Wonder Bread. Not only do I want to eat it, I want to dance with it. Kids wake you up way too early in the morning? Well, get the new snuggle bunk! Well, if you get the snuggle bunk, it's good for twins, triplets, quadruplets, two on one, two on the other. Good about the snuggle bunk is it has a curtain that protects the kids from seeing the light. And if they see the light, they wake up. Other is the snuggle bunk is also memory foam, it has a heater built into it, and it plays music when your kid wakes up. It has a sensor when it wakes you up, so it can automatically put it back to bed. And you can set it right here in this clock. It's a hidden clock, so the kids don't see it. All you gotta do is pull open the door, but I'm not gonna do it because my kids might see this. Anyway, you set the time on when to wake your kids up, and it has an automatic alarm clock. The snuggle bunk! For when your kids like you all way too early. Get out, I'm trying to sleep. Snuggle bunk! Wake up, 
to you by Ancient Rome. They're clear. Some people believed that the ancient Romans invented the maypole, which you guys are probably wondering what the maypole is. But the maypole is something that the, the ancient Romans, it, it was actually a metal a metal pole or pretty much like a branch that they would decorate with all different thi all different things and things that, that represented their culture and then they would dance around it and worship it and make sacred prayers to it and just like and if they thought they they believed that if they didn't do this that it would make the gods angry and if you made the gods angry they could pro possibly curse you and have something really bad happen to you um TJ what did they decorate the poles with? Things from their culture. No one is quite sure who first originated the idea of May Day, but for all the but for all the ancient cultures, the coming of summer was a cause for celebration. Of course, even we do the exact same thing. Well, they separate they separated they celebrated for many different reasons. One, it meant food was being harvested, and the other one was meant that crops could be planted and that they could just spend more time with their loved ones because it was hotter outside. And as a part of the celebration, some ancients, ancient people, gathered flowers, stop, gathered flowers and put them in, on window ledges to keep out the pesky spirits. Others filled baskets with greenery to, to make them feel merry. Show break. Oh, my hands are so dry, see? Only if there was something that was glittery, was fun to use, and was lotion. Hmm. Oh! Shimmer Fizz Body Mousse? I'm gonna try some. Anyways, buy this at your local stores. Go. I don't always eat fruit snacks, but when I do, I choose Scooby Scooby Doo fruit snacks. Buy these at your local stores in Appleton, Kiwani, and etc. Action! Why do they do these festivals? Why not? They do it to honor the gods. And obviously, as we already said, if they didn't honor the gods, why would they be on this earth? They'd probably get cursed. You're right, Mac. Other things about the ancient Romans and their holidays and festivals. They do many, many festivals. As I said, almost once a year. I mean, one once every day, of course. So we only covered two. Two festivals. Well, now is our third. And our third is called Celebration of Greenery. Celebration of Greenery normally happens around the 25th of December. Well, as we all know, the 25th of December, it's Christmas. So what they would do is they would give gifts to loved ones and friends and anyone pretty much. And they would just feel merry around this time. And that's why we have the Merry Christmas. Well, when they did have this, when they, when they did have Christmas, they always made sure to honor the gods, just like Max said earlier. Because if they didn't, they could get cursed. Dear TJ, TJ, um, who is their Jesus? Their Jesus is Venus. Venus is a god of love and beauty. And her son is Cupid, as we already talked about. Bloopers! We all love them.
so early in the morning? Are you looking at me?